PC2 Be Here, better known as P31 Diva, coming to you with a DIY vlog. Today I'm going to be ripping up carpet. Have I ever done this before? This is going to be the first time I've done this project. I've got my sister locks protected, I've got my iPro gloves, I've got my tools. I'm going to be using a utility knife, crowbar, a kind of putty knife, um, a screwdriver, and just these guns right here. Okay. All right. So, got a little piece up from here. We'll put our back into it. Okay. So, here is this lovely green carpet that I'm pulling up. Here is the piece I got. That's the tack strip. So, the carpet is. This carpet looks like it's stapled. The padding is stapled, but all along the edge, the perimeter of the, the room, this uh, carpet has these little upside down nails and they essentially hold it in place. So you want to find an entry point and then we're going to start pulling all the way up. So we've got the carpet up out of the living room as well as the dining room. We still need to get the tacks up in the carpet strip. So Superman is going to show you a method that we found to be really effective to make light and quick work of the carpet tacks, which is to put a sheet of, excuse me, put a piece of cardboard behind the bar to protect the baseboard. We don't want to take off our baseboards, but we need the leverage that the crowbar will provide. And by doing this, we're really able to get the carpet tack strip up in short order. I think we're halfway through the room, a little bit more than halfway, and it's probably been about five to seven minutes. So this is the next morning. We, I showed you what we did to get all the tack strip up, but I wanted to show you something I just figured out on how to get tack strip up when there's no baseboard to support. So you'll need a couple of things. One, a piece of cardboard. I'm rolling it up. I'm using this to give myself a, a higher fulcrum uh, so I can get better leverage. Screwdriver and this multi-scraper tool. So here's what I'm doing from here. So I can't get grip to get under, well see now it's kind of chipping away at it. So what I do is I take the scraper and I get underneath and I use it to wedge so that I can get the screwdriver underneath. After I get the screwdriver underneath, then I replace it with the crowbar and to get a little bit more uh, torque, I then put the crowbar here so I can lift up more. So now that I have the screwdriver here, I'm going to get a piece of the crowbar underneath. And I'll take this rolled up piece of cardboard to give me a little bit more torque. And in that case, it didn't go. So then I replace it. I do it again. It ended up doing pretty good. lift up my section and I'll try to go down as far as I can until I get to here then I'll repeat the process so again multi scraper tool find the wedge point you can see I can get a little bit under here and then basically you're just replacing it with bigger pieces so now I'm wedging here now I get the crowbar underneath Roll up, slide it as far under as possible. And I'm so glad I paid attention in physics class. 
in junior high. I also have knee pads on. While I'm not 91, I'm also not 21. So I want to protect my knees. We've got a lot of work ahead. So I want to make sure we're working smart. <laughs> Shout out to someone for holding the camera. Thanks, son. I want to show an easy way that I found to get the um, the carpet padding tacks out. This is a, a multi scraper. I got it from Mike's Merchandise for maybe like two or three bucks. And then these are some needle nose pliers. I'm sending it under and just popping it. So I send it under, pop it. Send it under. And some of the staples are turned a different way, so you might have to play with which way it goes. Send it under and then pop it, and then if it doesn't come out all the way, take the needle nose pliers, pull it up, and then continue on.